Hi everyone, Jarrell here. Nice to see you again. I don't have a script for this, I didn't practice or rehearse this at all, so I'm just going to find my way through this topic. <laughs> Alright, so I have some bad news, and I know that there's probably going to be many people out there who are going to be pretty angry at me, uh, so if you've got something to say, you can go ahead and say it in the comment section and uh, just let it out. So, the bad news. I discovered something today that is very unfortunate. I was working on one of my Vita games, or a port of one of my games for the PlayStation Vita when I received an alarming message from the Unity editor, and Unity is the game engine that I use for my modern commercial titles and for the PS Vita. And that message was very unfortunate, and I'll see if I can share it with you here. It's probably a bit too bright there, uh, but as you can see, as it says, the serial key that allows me uh, to develop for the PS Vita expired on June 24th of this year, which means all of my PlayStation Vita games that I've already finished and the stuff that I had in development, I can't even open them in Unity for PS Vita. That means that universally, as of the 24th of this month, no one can use Unity Game Engine to create Vita games. This is very unfortunate, as I did not foresee this, and I had promised all of you guys that I would keep making PS Vita games for the foreseeable future. I told you that I would keep making games for you. And I indeed, I had a number, I have like four or five games that I'm making for modern consoles, and I have been simultaneously working on the PS Vita versions, and it's very f frustrating to me now that I can't finish those games and launch them and get them out to you. So to all of you to whom I promised those PS Vita games, I apologize and I'm very sorry. I made a promise to you and I will not be able to keep that promise in terms of my current commercial lineup that I'm launching on modern platforms that I promised I would bring them to the PS Vita and I hope that you can understand the situation and I hope you'll forgive me for making that promise. I did not foresee this happening. I did not know that that um, option for using Unity for PlayStation Vita would expire so soon. I knew that eventually at some point, somewhere along the line in Unity's systems, they would discontinue support, but I never actually knew that it would just lock me out of using Unity uh, for PS Vita. And so, I'm very sorry to all of you uh, to whom I've disappointed. I won't be able to update Silver Falls Survive, which is very frustrating for me because I was working on an update for Silver Falls Survive for the PS Vita. I won't be able to update Clasher Ball, but at least I was able to launch the base version of Clasher Ball. I am working on updates for that, and I won't be able to bring that to the PS Vita any further. Again, this is not Unity's fault. This isn't Sony's fault. I don't want anyone to um, get up in arms about this. It's no one's fault. Sony and Unity would have had an agreement, and Unity would have um, supplied the use of their engine for launching on... Uh, for developing for Sony's consoles, and they have to have an agreement on how long that license lasts. The duration of that agreement was not information that I was aware of. Otherwise, I would have not made the promises that I did to all of you. So, for me, it's, it's hugely disappointing because I wanted to keep creating Vita games for the foreseeable future. It's one of my favorite consoles. I know that you guys enjoy it as well. And... Unity is the game engine that I can work the fastest in. It is what I am most efficient, it is what I am most proficient with, and so it's it's frustrating that I won't be able to use Unity for Vita. 
And so I've spent the past day researching options. Now there is an option to use Game Maker Studio, but I have to use an old discontinued version of Game Maker Studio. And that's Game Maker Studio 1.4, which is no longer supported by um, its company. And so that makes it very difficult to use. It is only in a half usable state, but I can show you here on my PlayStation Vita. And so I'll go ahead and boot that up. You can see a couple test icons there. I'll go ahead and run that. It says uh, made with Game Maker Studio. I'll go ahead and run that. You can see it's playing some Silver Falls music there. It's got a picture and some text. So after a couple hours, I was able to set up a development environment where I could use Game Maker Studio, but I won't be able to put my commercial titles that I launch on the Switch and modern platforms I will not be able to bring those to the Vita, but I have done a considerable amount of research and R&D and work into setting up this environment so that I can still make Vita games. I can still make them, but I have to use an old version of Game Maker Studio, which is significantly weaker and more primitive than Unity. It means that games that I make for the Vita have to be made from scratch. Um, and I won't be able to carry over work that I've done in Unity, but I still want to at least somehow keep my promise to you guys. When I was a kid, my father figure used to always tell me that half a loaf of bread is better than none, and that's something that has stuck with me for years and years and years. So this is a situation where half a loaf of bread is better than none. I can still use Game Maker Studio to make games for you guys, one of the drawbacks is that I can't do big, advanced 3D games like I could with Unity. As we saw with Silver Falls Survive, that was already very difficult to get that working and pushing Unity to its limits on the Vita. I won't be able to create 3D games like that anymore, but the 2D engine for a Game Maker is very strong. I can make very good 2D games. Uh, there is a chance that I could do some 3D. I've been running some tests. I could do some things like, you know, simple first-person shooter type experiences, um, but in terms of really advanced 3D stuff like Silver Falls Survive and Clash of All, I won't really be able to do games like that on the Vita. But moving forward, I will still make games for you. They just won't be my full commercial titles that I'm launching on modern platforms, I will not be able to just port them over to the Vita. So I hope you understand that. I hope you appreciate the situation here where it's not anyone's fault. This expiration date was going to come. We just didn't know when. And I didn't know that it was just going to kick me out of Unity, uh, but it has kicked me out. <laughs> so um, one of the real risks with this situation is that in order to uh, convert a game maker project to run on the PS Vita, I have to use a homebrew solution called Gay Maker. Not Game Maker, it's Gay Maker. And one of the downsides to that is that potentially it might make me gay, which is a risk that I'm willing to take for you guys. I'll do that for you. If, if that's a risk that I have to take, then I will do it. But the risk is real, and we're just going to have to cross that road when we get to it. So, uh, in all seriousness, I'm very grateful to all the developers, all the people who have contributed uh, towards the Gay Maker um, solution, which allows me to take my Game Maker Studio game and put that on the video. As you saw, it was running on there. One of the serious problems... <clears throat> is that because Game Maker Studio 1.4, which I have to use, that's no longer supported by um, its company, is there's so many issues with it, and I can't actually run and test my games on the PC. While I'm in the development environment, I can't actually run and test it. I actually have to deploy it to the Vita in order to test it, which means development is going to be significantly slower than any other environment that I've worked in 
But having said that, I've spent like four or five years of my life developing for the 3DS using Unity, which was an absolute nightmare. And in that situation was way worse. So the thing that I just described, having to create a game in Game Maker and then just guess that it's going to work and then deploy it in order to test it, that is way easier than the situation that I had with Unity 3DS. So for me personally, it's not a huge issue. Also, I grew up in the early 2000s using Game Maker, so I'm very familiar with um, the overall usage of the Game Maker engine. And luckily, Game Maker Studio 1.4 is not too different from the old versions of Game Maker that I grew up. So please look forward to any new titles that I have coming to the PS Vita, but also other homebrew platforms as well. Again, I have stuff coming to other legacy game consoles pretty soon as well. So I hope that you are enjoying Clash Your Ball, which is available on the Switch eShop right now. And... It will be coming to the Atari VCS and Steam soon as well. I've got some paperwork stuff to do. I've got legal stuff to do. And this, honestly, this really bummed me out. Um, just learning that I wouldn't be able to use uh, Unity for the Vita anymore. And it's a sense of loss. But the way my philosophy on the situation is, is you need to be prepared for loss. Um, Everyone that you care about, everyone that you love, at some point, they are going to leave you. At some point, you are going to leave them. And everything that you care about, everything that you like, everything you're passionate about, they will all be taken away from you at some point in the future. Nothing really belongs to you except your soul. And even that, too, one day will be taken away from you. So in these sorts of situations, it can be jarring, it can be shocking in the way that a friend maybe would be lying to you about how their cancer treatments are going and they may have told you that they're going well until one day you're on the phone with them and they tell you the truth that things haven't been going well and that uh, they only have until the end of the year to live and it's shocking and it's something that is taken away from you that you care about uh, and this is something that you're just going to have to get used to with life. You have to learn how to let go at the right time. You have to learn how to not let these things drag you down. And in this situation, it is a bummer, but I've had enough practice during my lifetime on knowing when to let things go and learning to not let things drag me down. So I hope you understand the situation. I hope you won't be bummed out. It's important in life to know when to let go. Though, if there are any hackers out there who can do something about this and somehow get around the, uh, the um, serial number expiration and somehow be able to continue um, allowing the usage of Unity for PS Vita, that would be great too. Uh, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Thank you very much for watching. I don't even know how, run, how long this has run. I didn't practice this or anything. So I have more commercial games to finish, and then I have a number of homebrew games that I'm trying to get out to you guys. Thanks very much for supporting Clash of Ball. I hope that you're all enjoying it. I am working on new content for that as well that I will launch in a free update. People are asking me for DLC. I don't really like the idea of, of gatekeeping with in-game in transactions, that sort of thing. I'm not really a big fan of that. So when I do updates for Clash of Ball, I would like to make them free so everyone can enjoy them. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Be well. Okay. <laughs> you have a good night. I'll see you around.